Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be going to study the key advantages of solid state relay. So at the end of this tutorial, you will be able to use it confidently because of its advantages. So as the name itself suggests that this is a solid state relay, so definitely it will be different from an electromagnetic relay. Before directly jumping to the benefits of the solid state relay, I will first explain the working principle of solid state relay that how it works and how it energizes the load. So first of all, this is a block diagram of a solid state relay in which you can see an LED and a solid state component which may be a trike or an SCR. So first of all, you have to apply the input voltage to the input side of the SSR. It means that you are energizing an LED. The voltage range of SSR is between 3 to 32 volt DC and it also comes in AC model. So when you apply voltage to this LED, this LED will lit up and it will fire the trike and this will in turn energize the load. So here you can see that there is an opto isolation between an input voltage and output voltage. So one of the key advantages of using solid state relay is an isolation where you can isolate your low voltage with your high load voltage. Now let's look at the first key benefit of solid state relay and that is fast switching speed. The frequency of switching speed of solid state relay can be as high as one kilohertz. It means that you can use this relay to generate, which is pulse width modulation. And also you can control the duty cycle. The duty cycle is basically the on off period of a load. For example, if you increase the duty cycle, you will be applying high average voltage to the load. And if you reduce the duty cycle, so you apply reduce average voltage to the load. So in order to control the speed of the motor, for example, you can use SSR to change the duty cycle. And also for some load, you can also generate pulse width modulation because of the fast switching speed of this SSR. So in my point of view, the second great benefit of solid state relay is the low power consumption. There is a limiting resistor connected at the input side of the SSR relay. So whenever you apply an input voltage from 3 to 32, the normally input current will remain the same and, and the input current is normally in the range of 15 to 50 milliampere, which is it's a very low power consumption, especially for the electronic circuit which drives this solid state relay. The third benefit of solid state relay is lifespan. It has a very long working lifespan which approaches to infinity. Some of the model of SSR has a lifespan of 100 million cycles or in some cases it is 2400 hours at 50% load. So it has almost 100 to 200 times the more switching cycles than a common electromagnetic relay. And why it has such a long lifespan? Because it does not have any moving part in it. Also, it does not have a coil which may burn due to spikes in the voltage. Another key benefit of solid state relay is the resistive input. As I've told you earlier that the input side is basically an LED which is different from an electromagnetic relay which has an electromagnetic coil and in order to energize the electromagnetic coil we have to energize the input side which is the coil of that relay. So there is a mechanism which is called a flyback voltage and this flyback voltage produced by the coil is very damaging and dangerous for the devices that control the energization and de-energization of this coil. So let me explain the flyback phenomena in some detail. A coil is basically an inductor 
Whenever you energize the coil, it becomes an electromagnet and it pulls the contact each other and closes the circuit. So when you de-energize an inductor, what happens? The current across the coil does not come to zero immediately. So what happens? It produces a very high voltage across the contacts of that device, which is very damaging. In order to reduce this voltage, a flyback diode must be connected across the coil of each electromagnetic relay. And in my experience, whenever you control an electromagnetic relay with your microcontroller or any electronic device, this voltage spike definitely damage or interrupt the input supply of this microcontroller, which normally causes reset in that controller's flyback voltage is basically the biggest disadvantage of electromagnetic relay whenever you want to control this relay with your microcontrollers. As you've already seen that the input voltage range is quite wide, which is between three to 32 volt DC. So you don't have to change the model of your relay depending on your input voltage. You can use any voltage to energize this SSR. And also, the output current range of the solid state relay is very high and it ranges up to 100 ampere and to drive such high current loads you cannot find a normal electromagnetic relay you have to go for the contactor or some other mechanism i hope you understand the working principle of solid state relay and key benefits and advantages of using solid state relay one of the disadvantages of solid state relay is cost and I think this is the only big disadvantage but when you are working on a very sensitive project the cost is a negligible factor in comparison to these advantages. I hope you like this video so for more interesting videos stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.